Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're back with Season 5, Episode 2 of Adventure Time. Last we saw, crazy good episode, we are in a new world. We have a new Marceline, a new Ice King, a new Finn, a new Jake. We are running around with them. In the beginning, our Finn snapped us out of existence, I believe. He said, I wish the Lich didn't exist, and boom, everything went dark. I think this Finn... And these new band of characters that are versions of our favorites are going to have to figure out a way to change it where our Finn never snapped the Lich out of existence so he can come back to life. That's where I feel it's going. He put on the crown at the end and screamed and his parents were trapped in a burning barn or home. We're going to find out. You guys want to be way ahead, full unedited reactions of this and other shows I do. Patreon link at the end. If not, we're jumping in. This is season five, episode two, Adventure Time. Jake the dog. The last one was Finn the human. I can hear the crown's promise of power. Oh my god. One more hit. After a thousand years. Uh, I'll save you. Hey, guy, where's my buddy? Finn left my time room and entered his wish altered reality. We could watch him on my TV wall. That oh, is my wish Finn? world, Finn, is mad uglies. Dang, I'm mad uglies, too. You get a wish, too. What? Yep. Sandwich is good. Maybe about this big. Or this big. Dude, I'll just make you a sandwich. You should use your wish on something important. Your buddy. I'm talking about him over there. Oh. Pin? <gasps> what? What on earth? I raised you better than that. It's true. <laughs> the crown, it compels me. Join the family! Sibling. What's going on? I'm too dangerous to be around. What are you doing? Leave me. Looks like your friend's having a pretty rough time. Mm. Mm. I got confidence in my boy. Besides, I'll hang on to my wish in case I need it. Prismos oh, pickles. Yeah. <laughs> You're like a strong number three on my cool guys list. I'd be like, wow, dad, you made these pretty good. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that was dad. Are they gonna be like white walkers? Draw, draw me. An age. Of ice and whispering snow. Oh. Big D's chilling over here, wasteland style. Stay. Ah, my kids! Can't you hear the, the whispers? They tell me to freeze the world. Get off of me, weirdo! I am the end and the beginning. I am the hand. Get out of relationships because I don't want to have a discussion about what we're gonna have for dinner every night. What should we eat for breakfast? We should coordinate. That's a pain. Hey, so I brought over... What is a singular doing in this realm? He's just here making a wish, Cosmic Owl. Come on, get in here. Okay. <gasps> I warned you, you butt. He just kicked off Marceline's head. I'll share the secrets of ice and snow with thee. <laughs> the power of frost! One, They're all go. just hanging out. <laughs> We're three nice dudes having fun. We the cosmic owl. Back off my crown, Jake! I warn you! The witch! Finn! Save Finn! Wait, it's like a monkey spot kind of thing. Wish for a back rub. Who's gonna give it to you? A dirty man? A bear? A bear? Um, where did Dad go? I don't know, son. He just disappeared from the table. Sorry. Worlds could be evaporated by your wish. Focus, Jake. Here, eat this egg. It's brain food. Shh. Shh. <gasps> Change the lich's wish. And go home. And go home. I can work with that. All right. This has been nice. How nice Prismo Ooh. is. All lucky for Finn and Jake to go back home to Ooh. Huh? Did you see that? 
<laughs> Monkey's paw. Boom! Uh, that was good. Jake! This is serious! Something really messed up is happening! Ha <laughs> ha! It already happened. I saved everybody. That was the gem. Oh, that's what fell. You can take the sign off when you tell me where you hid Daddy's crown jewels. What's that? The pickles. I like it. Quality. I gotta get that guy a girlfriend. Great episode, guys. So they kind of summed it all up, what happened in the first episode. At least most of it, I think. We meet Prismo. He makes damn good pickles. It's Camille Nanjani's voice. Right away, I noticed it was somebody, and then it's not very hard. He's got a very distinctive voice. Love the dude. Funny as hell. I don't think I've ever seen him in something bad. He's in a bunch of movies, stand-up comedy, TV shows. Dude is good. Loved him as this character. I feel like he might have been in Rick and Morty and other stuff, too. I feel like I've heard him do voiceovers before. We get the Cosmic Owl, Jake, and Prismo all chilling in a hot tub, while... Our Finn, I don't, guys, I'm still kind of confused. I gotta like sit on it. I'll probably rewatch it because I just like watch them back to back really quick and I'm trying to wrap my head around all of it. But there was an Ice King in the world that stopped a bomb from going off and they were underground for a thousand years. Marceline looked like an old lady. So does that mean that our Finn and Jake live in a world that's, not yet caught up to that alternate reality. I'm thinking that was an alternate reality that is like a thousand years ahead of where our Jake and Finn are because the Ice King is not trapped under a missile. It didn't destroy the world. Marceline isn't old like that and isn't a thousand years older. Is she, I guess she could be, but then why would Marceline look young and like not like an old wrinkled lady? I'm guessing that that alternate reality is way ahead of where we've been watching, but it still didn't explain the candy thing and all that. I did see that what did fall to the ground. I thought when they went through the portal in the last episode, what fell through the ground, or I guess it was the finale. I thought what fell to the ground was candy, but no, it was the gems of all the princesses. So now that makes sense. I just am like, what happened to the Jake dog in that other world? Why they made it sound like our Finn possessed that Finn to make all that happen. Cause he was going Prismo said, yeah, there's your Finn right there. You want to help him? There's your boy. Or was he just saying it in the context of like, that's your boy you're that's your friend, even though it's an alternate reality version. Cause I'm assuming our Finn was snapped out of reality when he wished the Lich didn't exist. So in the end there, Prismo helped him. And then Jake even makes fun of him and says, we got to get this guy a girlfriend. And Prismo was talking about not wanting a girlfriend because you got to talk about what to eat and this and that. And it's just wasted time when you could just sit on a couch and do your own thing. I kind of get it, but I got a girlfriend and it is nicer to not be alone. Like Jake said. So all I know is they reversed everything. The Lich goes, wait, what? And then they made a comment to Prismo and they got sent back. So I don't know where the Lich is now. What he's doing is he trapped with Prismo, but Prismo wrote Jake a note. So it's not like the Lich roughed him up or made him do something he didn't want to do because he had the time to write a note to Jake. So who knows what's going to happen now, but we have reversed everything and we're back to where we started. But we did get a bit of a story about the Ice King and Marceline in that world. Is that what kind of happened here? The bomb didn't go off because he stopped it from blowing up and then froze the earth and we went into an ice age. But our Ice King is still alive and well. And I don't know, guys, lots could be done. I'm I'm just going to call it there. You guys want to be way ahead, full unedited reactions of this and other shows I do. Patreon link in front of me. If you're seeing this on YouTube, I'm possibly done on Patreon or very close to it. Patreon link in front of me if you're interested. If not, comments down below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.